India has set aside 3.37 lakh crore rupees for defence spending in its budget for 2020 to 2021, which is an increase of 5.8% over last year. This year's budget includes 1.13 lakh crore rupees for modernisation, which is 10,340 crore rupees more than the allocation in 2019. Top experts have said that the allocation for modernization is insufficient, considering the large capability void that needs to be filled, ranging from more than 200 fighter jets, submarines, artillery platforms and helicopters. Experts also added that it remains to be seen whether the appointment of the Chief of Defense Staff can synergize and prioritize the requirements of the three forces. According to latest media reports, the HDFE-25 core engine developed by Hindustan Aeronautics has successfully concluded the sea-level performance trial, under which the 25 kN turbofan core engine was tested for various phases, including indigenously designed and developed air producer and air turbine starter. The engine is being developed for India's intermediate jet trainer program, and unmanned aerial vehicles weighing under 5 tons. The Kalyani Group will showcase three new indigenous artillery platforms at the upcoming Defence Expo 2020, which includes the 155mm 52 caliber Mag Extended Range Ultralight Howitzer. Another exciting product on display will be the ECARS Unmanned Ground Vehicle, which offers enhanced collision avoidance system, threat analysis and mission planning. The Kalyani Group is currently working on a hollow suit, which is a full-body motion tracking system, that can be used to skill humans and robots using artificial intelligence. The Midani Group will showcase its light bulletproof vehicles and medium bulletproof vehicles at the Defence Expo 2020. The light bulletproof vehicle is armoured with a combination of steel and composites, and comes with bullet-resistant window glasses, and 15 such vehicles have recently been supplied to the Central Armed Police Force. JNK Police is set to become the first police force in the country to use remotely operated vehicles to detect IEDs, in all conditions including underwater. The tenders to procure the remotely operated vehicles will be opened on 15 February, and each vehicle will cost between 5 crore rupees to 20 crore rupees. The Australian envoy to India has said that Australia had supported the grey listing of Pakistan by the Financial Action Task Force in June 2018, and Australia will make a fresh assessment to put Pakistan in the blacklist. Australia has also urged India to come back to the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, 